six years old and um, I'm in kindergarten. I've been wrestling for three years and um, the part I like about wrestling, it, it's getting me strong. I'm learning a lot and I'm learning lots of stuff. I'm learning lots of moves. My bigger brother um, started wrestling, so that's what made me, so my dad signed me up for wrestling. And so right before he turned four is when we enrolled him into Marysville Club. And, and that's where he really took interest and I felt he was gonna be good because he didn't, he didn't horse play around. He didn't dink off like all the other kids. He sat there and he concentrated on what they was trying to teach him. He's a very good athlete. He probably does, uh, will do good just about any uh, sport he does. He's just a little tad small for his uh, age, um, but being an athlete and how, uh, how much uh, heart he has, the compassion for wanting to get better. So he's what we'd call the one percenters. That being said, you know, when you go across the nation, those one percenters um, are very rare. And when they're found by a lot of wrestling coaches, they push them hard because they know that their potential and they're willing to take upon them like any type of uh, rigorous training and they can be just about any, as good as you want them to be. He's probably one of the best, or if not the best pound for pound wrestler in his age group, let alone in, his, uh, in the state. A Punisher is a warrior. They work hard and they and they never give up. I see him in there working 110%. I mean, that boy goes in there and he gives it everything he's got. I mean, when they're in there running around the room, he's passing almost every kid in there. His goal in there is to outwork everybody in that room, whether they're the same age as him, or whether they're 15, 16, he's in there giving it everything he's got. Because um, the tournaments look cool, um, I feel like I'm gonna win, and I feel like I'm gonna win. So um, I could beat them, and I'm trying to make them intimidated. What's your intimidation face? The Punisher face. What's the Punisher face? Um, it's your mad face. Can you show me? And, and everybody calls him the little Punisher. He's the little Punisher. And uh, when, that being said, whenever he's out on the mat, uh, a lot of kids will be like, who's the Punisher? And he'll say, I'm the Punisher. And he, he'll, he'll step up and he's the Punisher out there. He's almost like the face of Punisher wrestling. He's the type of kid you want to brand to say this is what's who we are. He is what we want in this area. He's the type of kid that we'll all root for and eventually hope to see him in the NCAA Finals. Going through the tournaments all year round, you kind of get the feel of uh, what kids you're going to be coming up against at you know, um, the state tournament. So I knew there was only one kid that we had to worry about, second year Bantam. When it came to that match, I was pretty nervous. Julian only let him score two points and went all three rounds again. I felt it could have went any way, you know, um, if Julian would have took the shot and scored the first point, I believe he would have won. You know, when, when he loses, you know, and I sat Matt side, you know, enough times to know where I could see he's, he's about ready to, you know, to start crying and I'll kind of make eye contact with him and I'll kind of, you know, give him that look like, you know, take a few deep breaths, son. You know, you're okay, settle down. And he kind of pulls it together. And I'm, I'm proud of him for doing that. Not too many kids can do that. There was a wrestler who was talking um, and he was saying that he would like to be a four-time state champ in, in high school and possibly go wrestle in college, you know, but we're just kind of taking it, you know, one season at a time and, and seeing what he wants to do. Julian is on, that, is on that path. 
and it, and it has a lot to do with him choosing to do that path. The parents aren't pushing him to do any of it. It's his all Julian, and that's the type that usually stays on the path all the way through college and maybe even beyond.